Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out a fan game and letting them know sort of why it's failing. Maybe give them some tips and tricks on how to make the game better. This guy hit me up, said he's the project manager for the game, and they're having a very hard time getting players slash advertising the game. So let's check it out. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I, I kind of been trying to restructure this, uh, this series here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the game for a little bit, see if I like it, see what I don't like about it. And I'm going to try to find five mistakes that they made in this game and use those to tell you guys how to not make them in your game. All right, so I haven't been playing for too, too long, but I do notice a couple things already for example this refill thing doesn't always work so bugs is something that can always make a game do a little worse than it should be doing let's see is it if i don't go far enough away refill well now it seems to be working good after i said something about it okay another thing i've noticed is the ui on the screen feels like it might be too big oh there it goes this is the issue i was having it doesn't always let you uh, go back to the refill zone but what i mean by the ui being a little bit too big is it feels like my gameplay area like what i can actually see on the screen is very limited in comparison and i think most of it just has to do with this popcorn thing like if i close this it seems a little bit bigger but once i pull the popcorn thing up ah oh man it's just it's kind of tough let me grab this daily reward real quick it looks like it's a ninja legends inspired game the pets look sick from what I can see, this guy especially. Anyways, I don't know why you get gems so, so much faster than coins. It does seem a bit off to me, considering that's the exact opposite of every other type of game. 249 Robux. Screenshot, please. I got you, man. Cheese. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> Here's the eggs. Um, I think it would help if there was something uh, before you walk up to them, showing how much they were. Not overly that it's something you did wrong, but I would rec- Whoa, what is this? Open, open again? Okay, so you gotta click open twice, basically. We got a cat. All right, and it automatically follows us. Good, good. Let's find the shop, which is right here. And over here, we have skills. Okay, so we're just- we're getting different types of popcorn. Let me buy this. $1.99 for buttery. We don't have enough for that yet. I, I also think it's very weird how you get gems and coins. Like, like you get gems more randomly than not. H how can I even explain this? So, in every other simulator type game, and, and really any type game, when you get gems, it's because you have done the core loop and then the side loop. For example, rebirths, or you're attacking something else. Like, if you go to, like, Pet Simulator. When you attack the chests you don't really get coins when you oh but when you attack the actual gems that's when you get gems so i think the uh the side loop there, there should be like another thing to do to get the gems for example i think in ninja legends which this game seems to be kind of inspired by you had to collect the flags there was like the capture the flag thing around the map and you got gems for that there was a king of the hill which you got gems for that just a lot of stuff you could do other than clicking that gets you gems so having clicks get you gems and eat the popcorn it just feels kind of weird gems lay here okay so do we have a spot that you can collect gems all right i have no idea what this is i can't lie oh all right seems to be just random so there is a gem spot that makes sense i don't know why you get gems while you click too i feel like that's just kind of strange we're at this new little place over here and i have no idea what's going on the map looks really good by the way the void pirate quest coming soon so there is a lot of cool stuff around the map that will give players a lot to do if they stay in the game long enough to get interested in it doesn't look like i'm allowed to go into the void yet maybe it's not out who knows use code intel please when buying robux or premium okay i got it nice nice uh <laughs> there's a lot of cool spots and a lot of labeling but the labels are kind of throwing me off it feels like there's random text everywhere on the map for example russo thing right there i think there's another thing over this way there is king of the hill so once again why do we get gems while we're doing the main gameplay loop of clicking i have no idea not not a single clue. Definitely gotta check out what skills are, because that sounds fun. Ah, oh, they're just double jumps. I guess, like, I understand. All right, I get it. But I was expecting a lot more, man. On a why it's failing basis, I guess the gameplay loop is just a bit confusing. We get gems and eat our popcorn, of course. That's fine. But when it comes to, like, wanting to progress within the game, um, going over here, we don't know how to get into these portals, what we need, or what we have to do to get into them. So how do we progress in the game? All right, guys. So I've been playing for a little bit longer and I have five things listed out on my little notepad over here. So first things first, we have a very awesome map. Like there's so much stuff going on, which is great, but it still seems dead. And the only thing I can 
a tribute to this is there's not much movement in the map. Of course, we have the gems that float up and down around kind of like this, but that's about it when it comes to movement. This, and then there's a waterfall over there. Other than that, there's not really any movement in the map, and it makes it feel kind of dead and stagnant. All of these hot air balloons could float up and down, just kind of like, they don't even have to be together, just all different kind of real slow floating. All of the pets that are kind of in the air could definitely move around. Next thing I see in this game that I would avoid in literally any game I make or any game you guys would make, decimal points. L let me just get into this real quick, man. Decimals are so, like, unsatisfying. In most games, I don't think there's any game on Roblox that's balanced down to a decimal point. Like, you can't say, I made it one point one multiplier because that was the perfect number to get the gameplay to where no no roblox game is balanced that far down and on roblox satisfying games is uh, sort of what dominates everything now i have two things about the ui number one is it makes it feel like there's not enough gameplay area but i don't think it's because it's too big and originally that is what i thought but i think it's because it doesn't stick out from the game itself it kind of like the shadows we have one on here but not on this one Actually, we only don't have one on this one, but I feel like it just blends in to the map now This is me being very picky, but yeah, just just if it blends into the map man What's UI? What's not it's clear to us But I could see someone out there being like bro This feels weird because I sure did next thing I think new players might get a little bit confused if they've never played this type of game before if they walk up to these portals to go to their um, You know their next world say oh, I've been playing for like 25 minutes I definitely should have a new world unlocked now you walk up to them and there's no information on how to get to them now of course i know you have to jump up to the islands to unlock them but maybe you should have something on these portals that says hey you gotta jump to them and then the last thing i gotta say getting gems from clicking it, it just feels so unnatural for a simulator like genuinely unnatural and that kind of goes back to the satisfaction type thing when you're playing g games like this so guys those are the five mistakes I see in the game. It's a decent game. The number one thing, the lack of satisfaction. It makes me feel like I'm playing a game made in like 2001. But guys, if you found this helpful for your games, let me know in the comments below. That is going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.